So this is the tenth video on getting started with Python quickly 2022, where we are studying two control statements. And in this video, we will see loops. So if you want to execute a group of statement multiple number of times, you use a loop. So there are different types of loop. First type of loop we will see is a while loop. So in a while loop, there are three conditions. One is initialization, there is condition check, uh, process and incrementation and decrementation. So I is a loop variable, which we are initializing to one. In we are giving a keyword while in front of it, we are evaluating an expression where while I is less than or equal to 10. So until and unless this condition is satisfied, we will enter the loop block. So this condition is satisfied one less than or equal to 10. Therefore we print the value of I and then we will increment the value of I by one. So I value will be two, it will check two less than or equal to 10 and it will print the value of I two, I will increment to three. This will run till 10. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten will be printed on the user screen by this for you, while loop. First example. <laughs> now, printing the element of list using a while loop. So we have created a list L1 containing elements 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. It is enclosed in opening and closing square bracket. First statement we are we are initializing i by zero as list indexing starts by zero we are in the initializing the indexing variable by zero we are checking while i is less than length of l1 why length of l1 so length will give you the number of elements and as we are starting from zero we have to run till last element minus one therefore i less than length of l1 what we are doing inside the while loop, we are printing the value at the index position. So print inside print, we have L1 of i. So when i is zero, we will print L1 of zero, which is 10. We will increment the value of i by one. So for the next iteration, one less than equal to the length of i, we will print L1 of one, which is 20. Similarly, we will print 30, 40, 50. When i values goes to zero, one, two, three, four, five, Pi less than equal to less than five will condition will false and we will come out of the while loop. As the loop executes, you printed the element of the list on the user screen. So next output will be 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Now we will see another type of loop, which is a for loop. So, so in Python, for loop is used for iterating over a sequence. So we have created a sequence L1. So we have want to iterate over this list, which contains 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So for I in L1, for the first execution, this I is 10, and we print 10 on the user screen. For the second execution, this I is 20, we print 20 on the user screen. For third execution, this is 30, we print 30 on the user screen. For the last execution, it is 50, and we print 50 on the user screen. Nested for loops. So when you have, you can write, uh, another for loop inside the outer for loop. This is called as nesting of for loops. So in this example, we will print the table of one to 10. So the outer for loop is for iterating over one to 10. So for i in the range, range function will generate integers from zero to in last index minus one. So this uh, range function will generate zero, one, two, three, up till, up till 10 outer, for the outer for loop, we will run the inner for loop for j in the range 11. It will also generate a value uh, 0 to 10, last index minus 1. What we are printing, we are printing the value of i into j and the result i into j. So when i value is 0, 0 is multiplied by 0 to 10 and result will be printed on the user screen. When i value is 1, 1 is multiplied with 0 to 10 and result will be printed on the user screen. So to change this, what we will do, we will start the start index by 1 and last index will be 11. Start index 1, last index will be 11, so that it should not start with 0. So right click and see the execution of the loop. So we will run this file inside uh, uh, terminal. And we will check the execution. Okay, this will take a few seconds and the file will execute and we will see the output on the user screen and we will verify whether the output is correct or not. Uh, now you can see tables were printed on the user screen. So for the first while loop, we have printed one to 10. 
Then for the second while loop, we iterated over the list and printed the list on the user screen. Therefore, you have the output 10 to 50. Then we use the for loop to iterate over 10 to 50 and print it on the user screen. Therefore, the next output 10 to 50. And in the last using nested for loop, we have printed the table from one to 10 on the user screen. So for outer one, the inner loop executed from one to 10 and multiplication was printed. For outer two, the inner loop executed from one to 10 and multiplication was printed. Similarly, this was done for 10 and the outer loop ends and we come out of our program. That's it for this video. Thank you, thanks for watching. Do hit that subscribe button for more such technical content. See you in the next video.